At VAT19, we made a name for ourselves by making and selling giant treats. But we noticed we couldn't sell you a giant jello cup because one doesn't exist. Yet. Have you ever seen a bunch of videos of people like getting into jello, like bathtubs full of jello or hot tubs of jello, swimming in jello? Everyone has dreamed of that. So what if we figure out a way to do that and we just get a, we make a gigantic jello cup? It's winter, so we just push it outside. Like the world is the world's largest refrigerator. It's gonna take days and you're not gonna have that kind of weather. But it's winter time, so we'd be fine. I already ordered a thousand dollars worth of jello, so. <laughs> you ordered a thousand dollars worth of jello? I really hope this works. Do you remember our uh, giant dirt cake? Let's use that, that the bowl we use for that. It's over here. It's already got like the shape and everything. Like, it does look like a giant jello cup. And we have that giant spoon from the cereal marshmallows bowl. It's 360 gallons. Uh -huh. So we'd have to boil like half of that. Sounds easy. So I built a pipe frame to stand this barrel up. I got a little burner down there, filled up with water. Let's see how well this boils. So, I've been looking at the weather and it's like all over the place. This is so much that's gotta be cooled down and if the weather's fluctuating and it doesn't work, like we can't do it again. The jello cup outside is just not gonna work. I think we need like a really big refrigerator. I need to rent one of your uh, refrigerated trailers, but I've got some questions before we can kind of commit to it because we got to make sure it's going to work for us. So we just need to make sure like the doors are, are large enough and that it'll actually fit into our warehouse. Unfortunately, the door is only three feet six inches wide. Oh, that's going to be way too short. Okay, we'll, we'll see what else we can figure out, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. No. That's a bummer. Because I mean, you got to see. So we're a whole foot. We're a whole foot short. There's not much to this. It's a trailer with some insulation. So if we maybe we can find these refrigeration units. So you're saying you want to make a refrigerator? I might make a refrigerator. Cold and cold air. It's been running for about a little over an hour. It said 36. Oh! Do you think it's gonna work? I think it's gonna work. I think we can put some more insulation on the outside if we have to, but. Yeah, I think you might need to double insulate. All right, let's get the heck out of a refrigerator. It's really yeah. cold in here, guys. A bunch of weirdos hanging out in the fridge. You're just jealous that you weren't invited. All right, we've got over 500 pounds of cherry gelatin, 150 gallons of water to boil. That's really all we need to do this, so let's light the fires. Smells good. I don't know if this is bad for me or not, but. Oh, I don't care if that's bad for me. That's good stuff. <laughs> We mixed the gelatin in with about half the water we need, and now we're adding cool water to get it into our giant jello cup. We're all tired. It's like a one to one ratio of the jello and cold water. It'll probably take several hours. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What's going on? There's a slow leak somewhere in the bottom of it, and there's literally nothing we can do about it. We gotta get this thing in the fridge as fast as possible. Oh crap, what's going on over here? Oh crap, stop it! What is going on there? The hose is still in the liquid over there, so it started siphoning back through the pump and into this bucket that we <laughs> rested it in. Science. This stains, so now we have yeah. what looks like a crime scene cleanup. What have I done? How much does that weigh? 3,000 pounds.
putting some cardboard on top so uh, hopefully nothing falls in there, gets dusty, it stays nice and clean. I think that our chances are pretty good. I don't think anything's gonna go wrong. All right, let's check it tomorrow. Let's hope it's cold in there, because we were hoping to swim in this tomorrow. I'm kind of doubting that's gonna happen. I don't know what's going on, but it says EF on the thing. We're still liquid. I, I need to find out what EF means on the, on the temperature controller. Snap. The fridge was working great, but we didn't anticipate how it would act once we put the gigantic jello cup in. The condensation froze on the air conditioner from the dry ice. Defrost this. It's frosting over again, so uh, we think it's happening because there's so much humidity in the room. So we're gonna de-ice it again and completely cover the Jello cup to see if we can get the humidity to stop coming out of the cup. Seems work. Let it open and see what's going on in here. Oh, it smells good. Um. Oh no. Is it ice or is it mold? That's yeah, mold. That's mold, it right? Mold so fast. This is a complete failure. This was Danny's dream. Maybe we could just like get a squeegee and like uh, take that top layer of mold off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think the good news is is I don't see the mold deeper into it. Yeah. It's like not going growing down and deep down. down. If we can scrape off the top one, two inches or whatever, mm -hmm. we should be good to go. I want to stay optimistic. Yeah, me too. Let's get scraping. Yeah. Really hope this works. <laughs> All right. This is it. Moment of truth. Let's peel the top. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It smells real good. That cherry. Yeah. Oh. It looks sometimes like liquid, but it's not. It's it's jello. Fixing the mold ended up not being too hard because it was just on the top layer. So we just scraped it off and threw it out. I'm a little bummed out about the mold. I'm still gonna get to swim in jello and that's the dream. Why didn't you guys wear shorts? We're gonna let you be the one. Yeah, to get bro. In. Yeah, this has been your lifelong dream. Yeah. So I thought it would just be, you know, there's not a lot of space in there. Just kind of let you be in that 40 degree jello by yourself. That's so cool. It is very I mean, cold. Maybe it's warmer in the center. All right, let's do this. I gotta work myself up for this. Come on, dude, you got this. It's the dream, oh goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm not sinking. Whoa. I'm not sinking. Whoa. Whoa. It really is <gasps> jello. Oh, what? <gasps> Dang. Oh my gosh. It, it is solid and hard to move. Is it jello all the way in the it's bottom? It's jello all the way in it. Getting in the jello was was kind of like a dream, a really cold dream. It's jello. Solid it's jello. It's jello. jello. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's too heavy! Oh, oh my god. Uh, this is the dream. Oh, yeah! Uh, 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 uh. That's what it's like down there, boys! Yeah. You're gonna be bright red for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! I feel like I've accomplished the lifelong dream of not just myself, but pretty much everyone who's ever eaten a cup of Jello. Everyone's thought about swimming in Jello. Right? Three, two, one. I can't go down. Can you? I can't get down. <laughs> Can somebody give me a push? <laughs> there you go. Oh! Come on, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm done. I'm so slippery. We didn't think this through, guys. Okay, there we go. Towel. I gotta say, I'm pretty satisfied. This was a huge project. I'm really pumped that this actually worked out. So, how are we gonna clean this up? Basically, we're, we have a YouTube channel and we're making um, a 360 gallon uh, jello cup. So we're making a, oh, a, uh, lar a large uh, amount of jello. What are you gonna do with that? Uh, we're gonna get in it. The jello? Yeah, haven't you ever wanted to swim in a bunch of jello? 
Yeah. Sounds like a lot of work to go swimming in Jello. It is. It is. Bad 19.